We're going to take a look in this video at getting some practice with metric and imperial conversions. So copy these three questions down, then pause the video, work out the answer to the three questions, and then resume the video and you can see the full solutions to each problem. So first here we have to convert 220 centimeters into yards. So we know between metric and imperial the easiest way to convert but the one that you can remember is from centimeters to inches. So let's go ahead and convert to inches and then from inches to yards. And watch how I'm going to do this. I'm going to do it all in one string. So I have 220 centimeters and I know now I need to convert the centimeters into inches. So 220 centimeters, I want to get rid of centimeters, replace with inches, and there are 2.54 centimeters in one inch. And now I'm left with inches, and I can now go from inches into feet, and there are 12 inches in one foot, and my inches are now replaced with feet, and now I go from feet to yards and there are three feet in one yard and notice now that my feet are gone my final unit is yards and here's the way I'm going to do it I'm going to take 220 divided by 2.54 and I always press my equals button in the middle and that gets me 86.61 I divide by that whole thing by 12 and I get 7.22 and then I divide by 3 and I get 2.41 yards and it's 2.405 so 2.4 would even be close enough but that's how many yards are 220 centimeters so in the second problem now we have 4.5 feet into meters so I have to start with 4.5 feet and I'm going to go from feet into inches so I replace feet put in inches and then I'm going to go from inches put inches in the bottom replace it with centimeters and then I'm going to take and get rid of my centimeters and replace it with meters. So I'm just taking a little bit of a different approach here. I'm sort of making the shell for my whole problem. And I'm going to double check my units all cancel here. And I'm left with meters. And now I'll put in my conversion factors. And there are 12 inches in one foot. And there are 2.54 centimeters in one inch and there are 100 centimeters in one meter. So again to do this I'm going to and I'll say the buttons that I'm pressing as I do 4.5 times 12 equals 54 times 2.54 equals 137.16 and now I divide that by 100 and I get 1.3716 six so there's about 1.37 that's about 1.37 meters we can just ignore those those are pretty small 1.37 meters in 4.5 feet and now we have three meters minus six feet three inches so six feet three inches we're gonna to have to be careful with that one uh, if we if we uh, convert the meters first that's perhaps the easiest three meters and now we want to get rid of meters and replace the meters with centimeters so one meter is 100 centimeters and so my meters are gone and I'm left with centimeters so I get 300 
centimeters. So that part was easy. Now this part is going to be tricky. Six feet three inches. You're either going to have to do the six feet and the three inches both separately, or you're going to have to get a decimal approximation uh, and convert six feet three inches into a decimal. Six foot three inches is not equal to 6.3 feet. So you've got to be careful with that one. So uh, I know that there are 12 inches in a foot, so I'm going to convert 3 inches into feet first. So 3 inches times, there's 12 inches in one foot. My inches are gone, and I'm left with feet, so I get 3 over 12, and 3 divided by 12 is 0 0.25. So watch out for this trap. Uh, it's a little bit tricky. So 6 feet 3 inches is actually 6.25 feet. So I'm going to now convert 6.25 feet into centimeters. So I'm going to go from feet, I'll just move this down a bit, 6.25 feet. So I'm going to go from feet to inches, from inches to centimeters, and I'm done, because that's what I wanted to get. So now I have that there are, there's my final units, and I've got 12 inches in one foot, and 2.54 centimeters in one inch. So I have 6.25 times 12 equals 75 times 2.54 is equal to 190.5 centimeters. And converting between feet and centimeters is a useful uh, a useful conversion, especially when you look at heights of people and so on. So that gives you some practice with metric and imperial conversions.